the 76ers in a close ball game as we head to the second half, but they must be wary of the fact they've been a very poor third quarter team. Well, I'm sure that's what the talk focused on at halftime. This club needs to come out with some intensity in this third quarter and try to reestablish a low post game. So he converts the free throw. They've switched up from man to zone, Mark, trying to disrupt this offense. Flynn playing the point. Neely picked off. Six on the 24. And they come up with the turnover. Oh, look at the footwork. Jefferson with the block. The Sixers will get it back. You know, we see that pretty often. Our guys uh, maybe stepping backwards off of a three-point shot or, or maybe driving baseline and stepping on that line. It, it's a little tougher than it looks sometimes to keep your foot out of that out-of-bounds area. Mark, down the stretch, every possession counts. You've got to make the defense work and get a better shot than that one. Love able to break it down. Shot clock down to five. Oh, what a collision. He is clearly in pain after that. Oh, I think they've done a nice job tonight offensively winning their sets. They look very effective. They're finding the open shooter. They've developed a good groove here tonight. Jeru Holliday with the bucket. Flynn trying to set up. Kevin Love. The feed, able to put it down. Oh, they've been really effective offensively tonight, Marv. That's one of the reasons they're winning this game. They've found a nice rhythm. They're getting open looks, and they're really sharing the ball. Oh, it's knocked out of his hands. Brewer able to rescue and scores. Marv, to get back into this game, they've got to take it possession by possession. That means play solid defense and make sure you grab the rebound. Delivery to Brand. Williams on the quick release. The 76ers keep the possession going. And Drew Holiday got the roll. He loved the hustle, Marv. The offensive board leads to the putback, and that's pure energy right there. The ball is loose. Look out. Good play. What a phenomenal effort there, Marv. Diving on the floor to to get that loose ball and you know, that's the kind of play that excites a team and really gets everybody going. Offensively, that's what they wanted to do, Mark. They got a shot in the lane, but they've got to convert. It's a three on two. Down there, takes to the rim. This is how they built this lead, Mark. Tough defense every time down the floor. That's a backcourt violation. Well, that's a rare mistake for this club, Mark. They've been so good tonight with their execution. they got to get back to getting good shots at the basket, good solid possessions each time down the floor. That's a shot you have to make, Mark. Something close to the basket like that. It's a waste of a good offensive possession. Flynn working up high. Accelerates. Love able to extend. I like the offense, Marv. They're doing a nice job getting to the rim, but we've got to convert that play. Iguodala has his shot block. For three. A minute and a half remaining in the third. Philadelphia down by five. Iguodala facing the double. Here's Brand. Love able to hustle it down. This is how you want to attack an aggressive defense. Set good screens, free yourself up for a jump shot. Williams looking for the open man. The pass to Iguodala. Brand trying the fade away. Oh, Johnny Flynn puts 
it home. No foul, but a gorgeous finish. Brand shaken up and was able to withstand the contact and still knock it down. Brand at the line, first time tonight. Steve, here's a guy, Elton Brand, he's listed, what, 6'8", but plays much bigger than that. Yeah, I think he's probably more like 6'7", but he's got that incredibly long wingspan. Those long arms allow him to play much bigger and block a lot of shots defensively. He's really more of a power forward than anything. The T-Wolves clear it out. Flynn with the bounce pass. Here's Love. Yes! Holiday makes a great pass. Here's the quick outlet in traffic. And here we have the end of the third quarter. The Sixers trail by eight. 